happy Wednesday everybody <laughs> I hope you all like the video so welcome bear watchers <laughs> whether you're new here or not I'm outside I just got the water off of the canopy and I was looking at the flowers and they're all growing crazy I got interrupted, somebody pulled up, but I wanted to show you. Look at these strawberries. Those were just blooms a week ago. And then remember this? This only had like two blooms on it, each one of them. Things are growing fast. I need to cut off little dead things over here. This, these got strawberries on them too. Lots more flowers there. All the baskets are really full over there. Yeah. I hope my tree survives. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit sideways now. Are you yawning? Yeah, I need to get used to my new workout. <laughs> I feel like all I'm doing now is going there, feeling tired and coming home and sleeping. Yeah. Are you going to be able to work at your job all day Friday and then do the food truck on Friday night? Um, I think so. Yeah, the food truck's fun though. Yeah, that was going to say, that's really fun. Yeah. And then I can sleep on Saturday. Yeah, then you can sleep all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> huh. All right. Dog's gotta. Dog's gotta go inside. We gotta. We gotta run and get some tea from Sipping Streams. What is this? This looks like a miniature version of the one that I got the other day. Don't eat him. <laughs> She's sweet dog. Can see her. Hello. Oops, got my finger in front of the camera. We gotta go. So I came home and turned on my computer to do this class. Big book. Big book. And I've been waiting for this forever. Why? Hello. Mary's gonna talk because I'm chewing on granola. Okay, well, we are at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, <laughs> we're gonna go in and buy groceries like usual and I'm gonna take video and no one's gonna see me because I take all the video. <laughs> and, and you get to see pictures of my butt because Mary's <laughs> behind me. <laughs> I feel like my eyes look tight. <laughs> we just got done. She was kind of helping me. Oh my gosh. I I had to do this um oh the basic life saving portion of the American Heart um Association test for the CPR. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's a certified course, but it's it's for um physicians and nurses and and whatnot. It and is not made for your like everyday employee, man. <laughs> no. It was like it was like how many beats per minute do you? I don't know. Like, it, and then it had all these like jargon. I mean, things. most of it is the stuff that I know already because I've taken these things. But over the last six years, we've been taught no, we don't do breathing anymore. You know, you just do chest compressions. And, uh, and well, this is all the old stuff with the breathing and and it's you know it's it's for EMS workers so with the AEDs and you know um, 
it was crazy. You know, it would be fine if you went into the course and it and it did, you know, everything in order. This, 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 this. You know, but it doesn't. It tells you something. Uh, Mary said that she looked it up and it's some kind of a weird algorithm. Yeah, it's... Okay, so what it does <laughs> is that it... It, like, will give you questions, and then if you don't answer them correctly or you only answer some, it'll, like, assess your knowledge, and then it starts going through all of the, um, you know, the things that you need to learn, so it'll start giving you all of these, like, little blurbs and videos mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. Well, the thing about that is, like, if you don't know anything, this could turn from a one-hour course into, like, a, like a three-day course. Yeah, <laughs> so, it was it was crazy. I had one of the girls at the office said it took them three hours, mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be like a fifty-two minute course. Yeah, and I was saying it would have they would have been way better off if it was one yeah. of the courses where it gave you all the information and let you read through it or watch videos about it and then mm -hmm. quizzed you at the end. It was horrible because otherwise, like like. We yeah. It's just as frustrating. Yeah. And because it just, you don't learn anything because it would like, say something heck? about, you know, oh, you know, like this mask, you know, the mask, you know, for the breathing. And and then it would pan off from telling you that to, okay, where do you place the pads for the um, child CPR or the child AED? I'm like, what? It was like, this you, is like nothing what you just told me. It's weird. It's like, <laughs> so you taught me about this thing, but not about the question you're asking me. So that doesn't make sense. It was dumb. <laughs> it's very weird. I don't like it. So there was actually a survey at the end. No, oh, <laughs> I, yeah. I gave them all bad reviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was telling mom to actually do that. I was like, because how are they going to improve? Like, people don't want to be mean and stuff, but if you don't say, yeah. like, I hated this, and yeah. you should improve it, <laughs> like, they're not going to do anything yeah. about it. And then it had, it has your your assessment, and then it has these bubbles, and it says you can click on the bubbles to see how you learned. Weird. The and, were and the bubbles were the all over the place. They were well, like, of course, really because your pattern. program is all over the place. It made no sense. <laughs> it didn't. It really. It was very confusing. It, yeah, I don't know. So, it's kind of like the new math they're teaching the kids yeah. in school. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it a, doesn't a make any roundabout sense. way of doing things that just does not yeah. make sense. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, we, we gotta go in Costco. We have an hour to shop, and I haven't been in there in a long time. <laughs> so I've got a list a mile long. Plus, we've got new hours here that everybody's doing. So lunches, and you know, we gotta figure Yay. out things. I haven't quite been <laughs> figuring out lunches. So we're going in. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, this is a fancy workbench got plugins and everything. Wait, how much is it? It's like $500. Small <laughs> raised beds here, these ones are $100. Oh. Hmm. But it looks like you have to put them together yourself. They're opening up the eating area again soon. They had it completely blocked off before. Such a big boy. He's just a big baby. <laughs> oh my. I can't believe he just curls himself up in them pillows. Bean, on the other hand, loves the fuzzy blanket. <laughs> and it's funny, these anthropology blankets, that's what he feels like now. <laughs> With all of his fur cut off, that's what he feels like. And him and Bean are playing better together. Because she can't grab a hold of his fur to drag him around the yard. Is that right? Is that right? It's dark in here. It's Friday morning. Look at me. No makeup. <laughs> I get to be lazy this morning. Because I don't have to go to work until 1. And everybody's gone. 
I took Mary to work and then I took Heather to work and, <laughs> and Mary's really really tired it's you know and I told her she's got a um, she's got to think that she's doing a lot of stuff right now because she's got to do all these modules and trainings and stuff besides all of the stuff that she's learning for her work so she thinks that she finished all of the trainings yesterday um, and maybe today I'll be more of what a real work day looks like for her but um, also you know a lot of jobs they'll have you start in the middle of the week or something or or do do all those modules and trainings before you start work you know because they don't want to overwhelm you your first week so she was pretty overwhelmed um, but she's poking through and just I, she's not sleeping because she's got to get used to those hours so she's still going to bed really late and only getting about five hours of sleep now this is a girl that sleeps 10 to 12 hours a day seriously 10 to 12 hours a day I mean, I used to do that when I was a teenager, and then I never slept again. <laughs> so, yeah, Friday. Oh, my gosh. Um, we did Costco yesterday. I don't know if I'm going to do that as a separate video because we still got the food truck rally tonight. Um, and I've got, I've got a training course tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll get any footage of anything tomorrow so we'll see <laughs> maybe well we'll see what happens to the food rally tonight and how much footage I got and uh yeah summer's pecking away here and I always because I have to think so far ahead I, I'm kind of scared about how close this is with, with no makeup on but because I have to think ahead so far when I make my vacations, I always think that um, summer's over <laughs> because my mind's on the end of July and the beginning of August, and it's just started June. <laughs> so summer hasn't even started yet. Summer's not until next week. <laughs> you know? and, and I don't know why I think that way because, you know, living in Michigan, we didn't consider summer start until 4th of July, you know, and then it was, summer was over the end of, uh, you know, Labor Day. <laughs> so, so, and it seems long just because you were doing so much stuff. Here, it seems short because you're doing so much stuff. That's an odd, odd difference. Uh, all right, I think I kind of sabotaged my nap. I was answering comments and watching some YouTube videos, and I was going to come home and take a nap because I didn't get much sleep last night. And um, and then I stopped at Starbucks, and I got a cold brew. I only had a couple sips of it, but now I'm wide awake. So, <laughs> Poof, there you go. I'm ready for the day. It's still Friday, <laughs> and nothing's happened yet. I'm ready to go to work. But I wanted to show you, now that I don't have to feed everybody and, you know, everybody's kind of on their own, I get to eat what I want and maybe I can lose some weight. But here's my lunch. I'm going to wrap up a turkey in a cheese and then I got some flaxseed in my, my little less sugar yogurt, a couple of apricots, and I still got half of my iced coffee from this morning from um, Starbucks. But if you notice the other piece of turkey out there, I got it there because the dogs would drive me crazy <laughs> if I don't give them any. So <laughs> and then I feel bad for leaving them for, for a few hours. Like I said, there's people in and out of our house all the time. Faith's husband's not working right now and and um, and life, he you know, only works a few hours a day. He's kind of like an on-call thing. So... Yeah, and I don't know, maybe I get to know my neighbors better and they can come let the dogs out every once in a while. <laughs> They're kind of missing their their dog. They just lost their dog last year. You know, it was a rescue dog. It was kind of old to begin with, so they only had it a couple of years, but they were sad. So, and she's been kind of asking me to, 
to go for walks with her. So we need to get together and do that. And said, we're a little bit closer in age. Uh, I didn't, it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. I'm looking outside and I see some little black clouds in the distance. Um, I just answered a comment because they said something about forest fires. And on the front of today's paper, there's a forest fire, you know, pretty close by. Close by, you know, just like 50 miles. So it's not, not close enough to cause us any issues. But if it gets big, then the, the smoke blows in. And that causes us issues. But yeah, I guess there were several lightning strikes the other day when I heard all that thunder. And um, there were a few fires that started. So it's, you know, that time of year. Hopefully get enough rain to um, put them out. But it looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend, so not this weekend. Um, okay, I gotta eat my stuff and get to work and get the day going. <laughs> This is a big official size soccer field with real bleachers. <laughs> oh, there you go. See if you can find them. Yeah, it's got a nice astroturf. Looks pretty cool. Oh, it's windy out here. There was 3% chance of rain today. And it was pouring rain by home before we came here. I hope it's not heading this way. But there's the food truck rally. We're heading over there. As soon as Mary comes down. You can see the lines for the taco truck. <laughs> Is it really long? They have like their own, everyone else's position like facing towards the lock. And they're positioned facing towards this way because they get such a long line. Oh no. They said they're covered for tonight, huh? You don't yeah. have to work? Kinda glad I don't have to work, but also sad I won't be making extra key. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh my goodness, look at all the people. This is the first big event I've seen of the year. Yeah, it looks crazy. Should we go in? <laughs> First couple of trucks, habanero and they've got the the, the ice jasmine green tea, that was really good. Oh yeah. That might be good to drink to wake up and she gets your energy.
barbecue. Yum, yum, yum. Look at all the people. Oh, look at those little tiny kites. Aren't they cute? Little teeny tiny kites. I wonder who's selling those. They're all over the place. And then there's games out here for the kids. Very cool. We decided on a casa. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yum. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I'm trying to walk and eat and and record at the same time. <laughs> We're heading to the grilled cheese place. longer I sit taller than you. I think this chair is shorter though too. That, that too, but like normally I sit taller than you anyway because I have short legs and a long so torso. so weird. Yeah, I got really long legs. <laughs> yeah, because I'm about I got, like, six inches here. taller than Mary. So that's, <laughs> that's a big difference in legs. <laughs> that's one thing I'm like kind of self-conscious about is that I have a long torso but short legs so I feel like I look funny. <laughs> Anyways, how what we're we gonna talk about? Um, I am super, super tired. Are just the things we did today? Uh, yeah, we we're, we're running around that soccer field all day, or all afternoon, not all day, because I worked all day, yeah. <laughs> or half the day. <laughs> First week of my job is over. I made and it. She survived. I feel slightly more energized than I did midweek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's um. 10-10. It's 10-10. And look, the sun shining on Mary's face. <laughs> this is the north side of the house. <laughs> so, the so, yeah, the sun comes up and goes down in the north this time of year. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get up and work all morning, and then I got a class in the afternoon, so it's gonna be a full day tomorrow. And Saturday. She has like half days and stuff, but I've been working like eight hours a day every day for a week. So I'm ready to sleep in. <laughs> I was telling yeah. mom if we're gonna do anything tomorrow, which I don't think we are, but I was telling her if she wanted to, then I could like sleep in. And since she has the CPI class, it gives me extra time to sleep in. <laughs> yeah, and I got the lawn I gotta do. Uh, and I wanna wait until the afternoon when it's cooler. I'll get that done. All the mosquitoes are out in the afternoon. <laughs> But it's supposed to be in the 80s on Monday and Tuesday, which is insane. Yeah. So, we are not looking forward to that. <laughs> I need to like, like come home and like put a bathing suit on and just turn the hose on and just play right. with the dogs outside or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that shirt is really bright. <laughs> it's white, isn't it? It's um, a Dr. Seuss one. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to find red shirts, and I, I was moving stuff around downstairs in the basement, and I thought, I saw this, and I was like, well, I wonder if that fits, and it does, so. <laughs> I wore it today instead of my other red shirt. It's getting tight. 
<laughs> All right, so I don't know if we're gonna put Costco in this or if we're gonna make its own separate thing. We were trying to make the Costco thing separate because they're kind of long usually. Okay. And people like to do the Costco, like you know, specifically watch, watch Costco, Costco stuff, and they don't want to see all our, you know, daily life stuff. <laughs> I guess that's yeah. a, a different type of people <laughs> that just come to watch those. Yeah. Different crowd. So maybe we'll put that up for the Monday measures instead because that's kind of a change in diet. Yeah. Yeah, we got yeah. a lot of healthy things. There are a few things here and there that are like maybe questionable, but they're more for like <laughs> like snacks for me and yeah. Heather for work. Yeah. Yeah. And if you saw what I had for lunch today, well, that's, you know, less calories. Although I did sabotage it. We're having a milkshake tonight. <laughs> our, our favorite places in town is Soda Jerk. You know? They're like a traveling... They're based out of Anchorage, so they're there year-round. But in the summer, they've got all these different setups where they kind of go all over the place. So they're, they're in Seward, they're in Homer, you know, and they do all the... Like the events, like this weekend is the women's affair at the fairgrounds. So so they'll be there for the whole week, not just the weekend. So they'll be there for the whole week, and then they'll be here for Midnight Sun next weekend. Well, you don't want to miss that, because that's <laughs> our big celebration is the Midnight Sun. Oh, yeah. So, so we'll have that up. Um, that's Actually, it's on a Saturday this year. I'll have to check. I'll have to make sure. Hey, wait. Maybe have it written down on my calendar. Here. Got my calendar in front of me. <laughs> anyway. I do have it down for Saturday. So, yeah, so it'll probably... Well, I don't know. That's kind of late. I don't know what time they have the minutes. And you're going to be working it, right? Probably. If it's on a weekend, yeah. I might, yeah, yeah. I might be. <laughs> so. I'm one of their main, main people to call and... Help them out. Yeah, and I can sleep in Sunday, so I can get it up on a Sunday vlog. So, so we'll actually have the Midnight Sun Festival up for the solstice. Yay. Lots of stuff happens in the summer. In the summer, yeah. And um, then we got a lot of other stuff that's going to be happening over the next month. Crazy. Yeah. I'll be traveling around the state, and so, and then we'll... We'll be doing some road trips anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> so even though I've got a new job, we could still like do weekend trips where we just like Anchorage is six if you drive fast. Like six, mostly like eight hours. to ten hours if you're like stopping <laughs> and stuff. Well, yeah, because you like to stop and see the mountains and right. take pictures. And some people. I used to always think it was an eight to ten hour drive. Some <laughs> people can make it in life. <laughs> maybe like five hours if they're driving <laughs> over the speed limit and they don't pee. I have heard people do like they're like oh yeah just you know go really fast the whole way and <laughs> don't go to the bathroom it's like that doesn't sound safe don't try it no just just do the speed no. limit get I've there. done it in six hours before so mm. it's that's doing the speed limit yeah but like so I we know people who have gotten here in like four hours and that's like <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. That's not that's yeah. like if you saw the last it's like remind me not to get video, in the car with you. <laughs> if you saw the last video where we went down to Denali, there's one part in the video where um, we're coming up on a double line, it's a curve downhill and somebody somebody cut in front of me. If if you saw that, somebody cut in front of me, so it was between me and the car in front of me, cut in front of me and then right around him too. You know, and that's how oh, those yeah. multi-car accidents like, right happen on the parks road. before it turned, too, we were like, mm, it's a goodbye there is life. no <laughs> way, no way you could have seen what was coming down that, uh, you know, if, if there was another fast car coming up the hill, it would have took all three of us out. Yeah. And, and the other car. Drive safe. Yes. Drive Watch safe. your surroundings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> And there was a double yellow line. You don't know. You don't pass on a double yellow line because it means you can't see in front of you. Anyway, no. my main point here, we are on a tangent. My main point was that Anchorage is like six to eight hours away. So we could do like weekend trips. Leave on a Friday, go hang out there for the weekend, and then come back on Sunday night or afternoon, something like that. <laughs> keep this, keep this plan out. What the heck? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to go and 
I don't know. Nah, you might see me mowing the lawn tomorrow. <laughs> but other than that, I think everybody's going to be sleeping while I'm taking a CPR class. Uh, we'll see. Well, Heather will be working, so. Yeah. All right. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he is an artiste. Working on her Picasso. Why is she licking her foot? <laughs> she, she's gonna put her foot on there too. No, <laughs> but, don't do it. Yeah. Like, you see, that was spotless. My last video. Focus. <laughs> I mean, we could probably like put like a fence to keep them away, but it's re it is really funny when they put their noses up against the window <laughs> and then they look uh, to side to side and it goes squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> it is clean then. So gross. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Like, she stuck her head in. Well, okay then. It was like 70 degrees and totally sunny like five minutes ago. And then some wind blew in and a cloud came over and now it is pouring. <laughs> so, uh, that's happening. Hopefully it's just one of those clouds that's moving fast and it just goes away and it gets back to 70, 70 degrees and sunny. What do you think of that, Kippy? What's up with that? Huh? It's raining. It's raining, Bing Bing. Hmm. Mom's getting all the water from the rain earlier. <laughs> she almost splashed me earlier over here. Oh gosh, look. Oh man, I didn't see, I didn't notice the water earlier, but it's it's kind of misshapen looking right now. Yeah, I know, that's why I don't like you in there. Yeah. Because I don't think it's gonna pop back, it's Every time it rains, it gets a little bit more stretched out. Who the bee? And then it's pulling these, so now it's raining through there. Ah, well, live and you learn. Watering the flowers. See, when I put this over here, at like the beginning of spring, I, um, faced it so the chewed part was towards the house so when people drive by they don't see that. Run! Oh, oh she's hiding behind me. Don't spray towards me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was a momentary rainbow! She's like, haha, you can't reach me. Run, Bean, run. <laughs> Look a rainbow. <laughs> I would have to get a ladder to do that. Because I am shorter than mom. Oh, remember that plant I had at Chinook and it was like on a top shelf and I kept over watering it and wondering why it was dying but I couldn't see how much water I was putting in it. And then when I picked it up all that water went psh, down my arm and down my shirt and everything. Yeah, that's happened to me. What's up, Bean? You hiding from the water? Go, shoo. Go that way. You hiding? Don't. Don't go near me. I don't want to be wet. When we first bought this house, it was just like filled. Oh, I gotta pull the hose out. 
But anyway, I was going to say that when we first bought the house, it was like filled with leaves. Is that good? Did I say leaves? My brain doesn't work. It was filled with weeds. <laughs> but like, um, it's a little better now, but like this area over here is just like weed heaven. Our actual like yard area is okay, but then there's like those weird patches where it doesn't grow, probably where the dogs peed. Hey, there's the blue ball. Where'd it come from? Oh, she magically found it. I don't know, maybe she hid it. She's like she had to hide it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Good, good, good girl. Do you want me to kick that? That thing right there. That. Hi, Cooper. What's up, Kibi? You just want me to kick the ball for you? Whoa. Oh, it bounced back. <laughs> Yeah. Here, mom. He's sneaking by. Don't spray me. No, don't go. Don't, don't come this way. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> Maybe. My strawberries turning red. <laughs> so it's Saturday. I I kind of survived my CPR class. Let's go go stand out of the sun for a little bit here. <laughs> there we go. That's yeah, better. I was blinded. <laughs> yeah, we were blinded. But yeah, I wasn't even thinking. Remember, I injured my knees. I was not even thinking that mm. a CPR portion of the class is all on the floor on your knees. So they're all flared up again and burn and burn and burn. <laughs> Beats throwing balls at us. <laughs> so, so that's not good. Yeah. <laughs> but so Mary was trying to cheer me up. We went to El Dorado's, our Mexican friends, and ate. And, and yeah, we got to talk to them this time. Last time they were kind of busy. So. Yeah. Yeah, and then they had weird things going on over there, <laughs> so you have to go back and watch that video. That was like two videos ago or something. Yeah. Um, while we had company here. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and then we went to Bucko's afterwards, and the, the girl, she was so funny, because I, you know, I was sitting there talking to her, and what did she say? Oh, I... You know, you get these little punch cards. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. had three of them and had like one more punch on like a third one. So then we would have had three free drinks. Well, I couldn't find them. Yeah. And she's, she's like, oh, you're like my mom. She loses everything. She's like, she always loses <laughs> She always loses everything. everything. Yeah. She, she was so cute. <laughs> yeah, and mom then, said something about like she handed us the drinks and mom was like, oh, yes, I need awakeness. And the, the girl's like, what? <laughs> I was like, that's not a word, Mom. Uh, I don't think it is. I said, awakeness. <laughs> I need some awakeness. <laughs> I was like, oh! Yeah. I was like, I get that. Working yeah. on a food truck yeah. all day. Like, I get people who say mm. weird things like that. And I'm like, I didn't. I have no yeah. idea what you just said. So I got a coffee. <laughs> I got a coffee. It's called a six shooter. <laughs> so it's six shots of espresso. We'll see how I feel after that. Maybe got, we'll go for a walk tonight. <laughs> I got a lotus drink. And it's like, you get a base. And um, so you choose like a color, I guess. They have multiple colors, so I get the pink one, and then I get it with strawberry flavoring. And it's like, I think it's like seltzer water with just like the lotus flavoring, which is like a plant-based energy mm -hmm. thing. So they're supposed to be better for you. Um, 
So let me know if you guys have ever tried these. The Lotus, yeah. They have been pretty popular, at least at all of the coffee huts we have here. So yeah, everybody's got them. I was gonna get some from from the internet because you can actually buy them from directly from the place yeah, that makes but them. But they come the in like these big like gallon pumps. Yeah. <laughs> Which and it's you like know. You put one pump into like a cup like this or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. I don't. Were we going to talk about something else? Oh, I told Mom a story. She said oh, yeah. we should put it on the vlog because oh. we were talking about ordering Switch the hands drinks. Here. And um, when I was working at Hoodoo on the food truck recently, Hoodoo is like a um a brewery. 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 Brew, brewery. I can't yeah. pronounce <laughs> certain words. My brain is also tired. But anyway, uh -huh. um, I was sitting on the food truck and it was like the end of the day. Mom and Heather were like standing at the back and we, you know, like the very end, you don't get a whole lot of people there. Mm -hmm. And so, um, she, you were complaining about your clothes, weren't you? That no. they smell like fry bread? No, you gave me a sweater the hoodoo sweater, the tie-dye one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you were like, oh, you can wear this now when you work at uh, the hoodoo on the food truck. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can. And then you said something about, like... Well, you were going to take it, and he oh he yeah. said, no, don't take it. It'll smell like fry bread. Yeah, yeah. One of the owners, <laughs> he works on the food... They, I work with both the owners. They just work the food truck, and they get people to help them. But, um, yeah, one of them said, like, oh, no, you don't want that in here. You're going to smell like fry bread. Like, this sweater I wore still smells kind of like fried bread. My hair smelled <laughs> like fried bread for like three days. It's okay. It smells good. <laughs> yeah, it's fried bread. Smells good. <laughs> but that's the point. Mom was like, oh no, she needs to like smell like fried bread. Work here and then go meet some guys. They like that. <laughs> <laughs> then, she'll, then she'll smell good. She'll smell like food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, so then I looked at mom and I, I like, I kind of saw someone out the corner of my eyes at the window and I like turned around and I started saying like, oh yeah, the guys like when you smell like food. <laughs> and then this like guy was <laughs> <laughs> guy is standing there and he's like, sure, I like some, when you smell like food. <laughs> some military guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He said something like that okay. and I assumed maybe he was just talking about the food truck smelling like food. I was like, oh, okay, what can I get you? <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty it cute. It was really funny. Yeah. Well, all the people who always order from our food truck are super right. nice, so. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be probably just a lot of talking on this vlog. I yeah. went on a walk yesterday though and I felt more awake after that. I was like, I guess I just need to like mm -hmm. exercise. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to feel really bad today, the, the long day in the CPR class. Classes like that make me really tired. Oh but yeah. It wasn't too bad. Mom was saying, I was kind of like by the end of this week, I was like, I like how do people do that like how do they change their schedules and stuff because i feel like i'm like not getting much sleep and i'm just like tired so by the time i get off of work and get home and i feel like i just have to go back to sleep so like sleep work sleep work and mom was like well it's only the first week so you're still getting ready but i was doing they changed the training so usually they send people to anchorage for, just to do the training yeah for three days so you do training for like an hour a day and then you just get to like do whatever you want in anchorage you could sleep you could go eat food whatever they changed it all to online because of COVID. And uh -huh. um, my boss was like, well, just, you know, worry about doing this. Maybe take a break. You could take some phone calls or something. But I've been wanting to learn, like, as much as possible. And the person who's teaching me and wants to go back to their normal hours and their job. Because, like, mm -hmm. currently, like, that person took over who was doing the job. So they don't really have anyone except me to do the job now that they've hired me. And uh, so yeah, I was doing like training and trying to learn all this stuff <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> so I think my so brain was, was like just like overwhelmed. Doing two jobs at once. Yeah, just all right off tired. the bat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so I was oh, like, yeah. well, that explains that. I'm sure once I get like, I just start doing my regular daily job stuff mm -hmm. and I get used to it and all that, I'll be like, yeah, less tired <laughs> right. instead of staring at a screen all day about how to be safe at work. <laughs> Okay, we're going to get the blog up, because I think that's it for tonight. And, um, Mosquito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're just standing here. We're not moving, it's but the sun gosh. keeps getting us. So that's how fast the sun moves, because <laughs> it, goes, it goes around. You always the... want to stand in the sun. There's, like, barely ever any mosquitoes in the sun. It's like the moment you move into the shade, they're all, like, little vampires <laughs> in your face. One just, like, landed on my eyelash or something. Anyway, what time is it? Good question. 6.42. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Alright, 
See y'all later. Hope you're all doing good and and all that happy stuff again. You're and, sticking back and, and my face is like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Like and subscribe and hit that bell. Yeah, give <laughs> and us we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, give a thumbs up and you know all that stuff. Cause, yeah, cause the comment. more thumbs up we get, you know, the the more the algorithm hits us or something. Give me suggestions on how to stay more awake after work and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, Kippy Kippy. He thinks he's human. What are you coming over here for? <laughs> she said, you got the camera. <laughs>